Okay. Hello, I'm Lisa Bowerman and I play Bernie Summerfield and welcome to Audio Heads Podcast. Hello and welcome to Geeks Assembled Audio Heads. We're here today to discuss the Avengers, uh, the new, uh, the old Avengers, the Lost Stories Avengers, and this one's called The Deadly Air. It's a bit like, you know, uh, Outbreak with, uh, with Mr. Steed in it. So um, I just, I, I really liked it. Um, I had a good time listening to it, but I want to hear what these other fellows have to say about it. So let's start with Texas Tim. What what did you have to what did you think of the Avengers and the Well, to me the Avengers um is a is a series. It started out as one thing and ended up being something else entirely. Um this first series that, that Big Finish has reconstructed with audio um is almost all missing. I think there's like two and a half episodes that actually exist, or that were actually recorded. Many of these weren't recorded, they went out live. So um, it's an interesting idea. And it's, it's a very noble effort on Big Finish's part to, to remake them for audio um, because they don't exist. And, and, but to be fair, the show at that time was more of a, it was more about Ian Hendry's character and Steve was more of a, a sidekick. And as, as Lee just mentioned off air, the, the, the Steve that we know who was running around with all these wonderful ladies um, was, was a few years down the road. The show had many different writers and showrunners. It ended up being something different a few years down the road. The advent, I mean, that, that addition of Honor Blackman to the cast in the second series kind of changed the way the show, the nature of the show. Suddenly you had a partnership, a kick-ass broad, and Steve was a bit more dandy like and you know then he had the ball or hat and the and the umbrella so i mean it was it was it was a lot more fun a lot more camp i think um than these first series of serious stories um as far as the episode we listen to it's very well made big finish pulls out all the stops i mean they've got excellent cast they've got excellent sound design excellent music that really captures the feel of of a 1960s espionage piece kind of thing uh, but the story itself was a bit meh, I thought. And so, I mean, I, gi- I give Big Finish a lot of praise for, for doing this. It's a very noble effort to recreate these, these lost stories, but the story itself, I think, could have been a bit more exciting. I think it's just because the world has moved on from that time. I mean, we're 50 years ahead, and we've got so much more technology and stuff that these quaint thing, you know, about beakers on a fan or whatever, it's a bit silly, but I mean... Uh, I do think they did st- ch- change Steve's character a little bit too, because he, he was a bit flirty with that doctor woman. And I, I don't think that would have happened on TV at that time. I think that came a bit later as far as his character goes. That's what I'd say right now. Thanks, Tim. Um, Jeffrey, what did you think of, of the, the Avengers? And did, have you, did you see the original when it came out and stuff? Yeah, the original. Um... I was talking to Lee, it uh, came out in 1961, and yes, I remember seeing them. Um, I, I was really impressed with um, the big finish version, should we say. They've slightly adapted the script, but that is probably a plus. Um, and yeah, the, this particular one, I'm pretty damn sure, went out live. Um, Ian Hendry, yeah, it was before he decided that um, he was too good for it and wanted to go to Hollywood. Um, and then, of course, because he stayed with, um, they really, really developed the John Steed character more and more. Um, and of course she had the, he, well, he didn't only have female companions. Um, no, he, he had the, the famous piece of rhyming slang. Um, 
who I, who I actually met, and he said he really enjoyed doing the Avengers. Um, but, uh, yeah, Gareth Hunt um, was a great, was a, he, was a, he was a great sort of, it was, this is like, it, it, it became like Doctor Who, really. Um, you know, apart from the fact that the Doctor stayed, uh, John Steed stayed looking the same all the way through, but the companions would change. And uh, it worked brilliantly. It did, really did work brilliantly. The only thing he didn't have was an alien companion. Um, but the, the, they, they recaptured the feel of the 1960s and the, the feel of the original series. Um, it was very, very impressive. As you said, yeah, a good cast. Um, yeah, I, I mean, Lucy Briggs Owen playing Carol Wilson was brilliant. Um, and yeah, I really enjoyed it. I'm glad. Thanks. Thanks, Jeffrey. Um, how about you, Lee? What did you think of the Avengers and, and Deadly Air? Well, funny brief that mentioning is like Doctor Who. Um, I only re remembered during the week that Sidney Newman had a hand in creating this show as well as Doctor Who. So we've got to thank him for two great shows. Um, I absolutely loved this. It, as it's been said, it, it, it got the essence of the 1961 season of the Avengers. Um, Ju is it Julian Wadham who played? Yeah, Julian Wadham who played John Steed in the audio is not doing. It's not impersonating Patrick McNee. He is. He is. I don't know. It, but you, you do get the feel of the jo John Steed, what we all know and love. So it, it's um, a di different interpretation, but it's still it's still there. And <clears throat> so Anthony Howell is Doctor David Keel. Yeah, it brilliant. Is I mean, I, I've listened to most of these, and say so we chose Deadly Air. Um, I agree with Tim. Story is a bit new, but the first season of the Avengers was it was simple and slow espionage stories. <clears throat> if you want the the wacky, the out there stories, then it was the Emma Peel onwards. That's where you got them because Kathy Gale was a series as well, sort of stories. Um, yeah, yeah th those were the, those were the ones that were big in the states in the late mid to late sixties. Those are the yeah. ones that were brought up here and shown on our television screens. Yeah, yeah, it's, but it's I mean, it, it, and the even the even had the story in three acts like they did on the TV, with the you know the it, uh, intermission music with the do 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 because uh, that was that's the original Avengers theme, um, not what everybody knows. Um, yeah, I was, as you say, the guest cast is brilliant. Uh, where's, where's one of them? Dr. Harvey, Ramon Tikaram. He is brilliant in whatever he does. Uh, on TV, audio. He's done a lot of for Big Finish, but uh, uh, he's a brilliant actor. And he, when I saw his name on the cast list, I thought, oh, he's going to be a cracker, this one. Yeah, um, I, can't, I can't fault it. As you say, it's, it's a 50-minute story of um, classic lost... Avengers from the TV and Big Finish have took the mantle to make all 26 episodes and the fan did this. Um, I, it's the end of the Avengers for Big Finish because they said they're not going to do any more. They've done all they can. So, which is a shame. Uh, I know they went down the route of um, doing the comic ad adaptations of the comic strip, what appeared in a, a, a girl's magazine back in the 60s. with. um the Emma Peel character, which is they are pretty damn good. Um, so yeah, it's, it's it is good, and it, it's, it, it does get the feel of the uh, the first season of the Avengers for me. I, I, it's very enjoyable. Thank you, Lee. Um, could you hold up the the CD case, please, and 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 front and center? And um, you were saying something about the the character uh, the capture on the on the CD cover, please. Yeah, yeah. Well, the, the, they've got everything right, the feel of it, and everything. But John Steed didn't start wearing that ball or, or, or the umbrella until would it have been? It must have been the Emma Peel seasons 
I, I think I, it was slightly I, before. Vaguely, I can't re- remember him on the Kathy Gale episodes wearing that. But, um, I, think, I think he started I remember, to in, in the second series with Kathy Gale, I believe. Ah, right. I'm not positive, but, though. Yeah, because if I remember rightly, in the first season with Ian Hendry, Patrick McNee was just wearing like a, um, a raincoat and stuff like yeah. that. He was just a down-to-air sort of um, secret agent. <laughs> not over the top. But yeah, so they've got everything right, but that's the iconic image of John Steed at the ball hat, so I think they had to go down that route. Yeah, it, it really, it, it made it apparent really what what show they were talking about. Mm. I mean, there's nobody, there's nobody quite like John Steed, right? And, and uh, the, his, his companion or, or, you know, the other one, the other one um, was amazing uh, in, 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 the depths of of of, of intellect and, and charisma that, that he carried into it. I um I just wanted to ask everybody what you thought of the. Did you have favorite moments or characters or 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 anything or any criticism at all? Well, this was the first time I'd listened to one of these. I've listened to the more recent uh, sets with them appeal where they adapt the comic books. Uh, and of course, I found those very enjoyable because it's that 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 Avengers, that campy Avengers, where they just are always sipping champagne and you know putting roses in guns and whatnot. But I mean, it's uh, it's it's uh, <laughs> but th- this was this was this was interesting, and I was very impressed. Like I said, with the production of it, I think Big Finish is amazing at at what they do, and the idea that they could bring back a bunch of lost. TV stories in audio format it is very good, very noble on their part. Cool. Jeffrey? Um, yeah, as I said, I thought Lucy Briggs Owen was super as Carol Wilson. So that was a um, great, great little bit of characterization. Um, Julian Wadham doing John Steed. Yeah. He did it exactly the way that um, he was played in the original series, which was basically very, very business-like. There wasn't any of the wit, humour, and that sort of thing. So much of the wit, humour, and that sort of thing. Um, John Steed was very, very business-like. Um, Intellect, right? Hmm? Intellect, right? Yes. And... Um, Yeah, it was a well, bit. It was a bit cheesy having the vials um, affixed to the fan, so that when the fan went round, they went crash. Um, I, I do think they strayed from that that hard uh, um, version of Steed, though, in a way, in a way with the way he kept flirting with the doctor lady, and the, the, yeah. and, and how yeah. she kept turning him down and saying, "You know what? No, nah, I don't have time for you." I mean, and I thought I thought that was their their attempt at actually capturing the guy with the hat a little bit more on the cover. Yeah, I don't... Probably I don't, the one that was there. I don't recall him flirting like... Well, not as overtly um, in the original. But... Um, he would... He would flirt a little bit, um, particularly if he thought it was going to um, move the... move the thing on. Um, but, yeah, I'd... It's it's just the overall feel of it that that, that made it for me. Great, and and Lee, what do you think? Well, as I said, as I said before, it's a well made well made story. Um, uh, I thought I haven't got any niggles with it at all. Um, I did love the um, it was near the end with Steve Steve's uh, Steve Steed, so where he's trapped in the uh, thing. And he says, leave me here, leave me here, this is my, you know, <laughs> don't worry about it, it's only water. But um, that was his little speech there. Um, but as far as I'm aware, as in the production notes of the Big Finish, this, this story and three others of this collection was leading towards the change of the Avengers. This is why it was slightly, why he was, um, you know, going with the, with the, the woman and, doing all that stuff. They were trying to get the feel of what what's to come of the Avengers in the future. Um, also, a little note there, this, 
this episode on TV was the highest rated episode of season one. So, hmm. it was late in the series too, wasn't it? it was kind of like number yeah. twenty-five or twenty-six or something like that. Yeah, yeah. So this, this is number twenty-six in top for big finish as well. So they finished off with that. But um, yeah, it's um, I, I, I love it. As, as we always say, we love big finish. The they had they hardly ever make any clangers. I mean, now but not hardly ever. And what they do, bringing back these old shows, what some young people have never even heard. I mean, young people think the Avengers, Captain America, Iron Man. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> you, you go look at Avengers. You know. Well, John to be Steve. fair, it's not, it's not the best name for that kind of TV program. It's it's clever. It sounds catchy, but what exactly are they avenging anyway? Especially Mrs. Peel. I mean, it's just like okay, <laughs> it's just the name of the show. It doesn't really mean anything. <clears throat> but it, it's it's big finish is it, a good way of getting the you know, the younger generation knowing about these classic shows, and um, you know, hopefully they'll carry on forever. If, if, if they would have uh, brought it into the 21st century, they would have had the whole um, something to avenge because, I mean, a lot of the, the sort of things that, that, that those, those classic things like the saint and everybody, they have, they have a name, but unless, unless they, unless they're, uh, you know, unless they're brought into the mod the, the 21st century, no, no, nobody really ever addressed the the, na the reason for any of these names. They just chose a, well, a it, it was that like the like. the '60s was the big era of the spy show. I mean, not yeah. only that, you had James Bond on the big screen at the same time. Uh, so you, you had all these ITV shows that that were, that were in that that vein. You know, where the like 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 the Saint, like you mentioned, the Saint, like this show, quite a few others. Um, that were either successful or moderately successful, who knows? But I mean, it, it was that, that was the big thing of the 60s, I think, was the spy TV show, wasn't it? Yeah. Spe especially in the UK. I mean, I don't know, I, I couldn't really speak so much for the States, but. Alex said, I spy and, and the professionals. Yeah, professionals like the So yeah, you're right, but it just had to have a snappy title. But then, you know, if they, uh, the, the reason for the name will always come out in some sort of, future incarnation or whatever you know this was the reason for the for the british avengers initiative or whatever uh you know that uh, that's just what i think anyway i loved I, personally i loved the bits where where they're doing all the science and they're trying to they're trying to solve the question of whether or not this contagion was going to kill everybody or, or go go and, and wipe out Greater London or the whole of the UK. It was just that that sort of wild outbreak sort of scenario, and then they and and then they solved it by Steed, you know, giving his heroically, you know, gi giving his uh, his speech, and then in the while well, he's behind the glass, and I just thought that that was so that was so amazing. It was it was such a capturing captivating story i was really i was really like totally caught up in it i do love the avengers i loved when we when we reviewed the avengers before um that was great so let's let's uh go on to final thoughts and ratings and then i have to jet fairly soon so uh go for it tim let's keep the same record <clears throat> Well, like I said, the production is flawless. It's excellent. It's it's brilliant, really. I mean, like I, said, I have no problem with the cast whatsoever. They're all amazing. The production design, the music is 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 great, and it is the original music redone today, like like in today's time. And it's it's very good. And like Lee pointed out, the three act structure, just like on TV. I mean, they they fade away into a card, and then they come back after the commercial. All that's really cool. Uh, it's just I found the story a bit wanting, and again, maybe that's just because it's so out of date or whatever. So I would give the episode a nine uh, on the average, just because of how good it's produced and the story itself is a bit of a six or seven. But still, I enjoyed it very much. So that's the point at the end of the day. So. Thanks, Jim. How about you, Jeffrey? 
Well, the production values on this, amazing. The atmosphere, the recreation of the 60s. Um, and I was there and, and I remember it. Um, <laughs> and yeah, for me, me gets a 9.5. Thank you so much, Jeffrey. And how about you, Lee? What did you think? I love anything Avengers. Uh, I've, been, I've been a big fan of the Avengers since I was a wee lad when I watched all the repeats. Um, and to have Big Finish finally give us season one, in the only way we can get season one, um, big thumbs up to them. Um, I agree with Tim about the story. Yeah, it, it's... Maybe it is a little bit dated, but, you know, that was back then in the 60s, the Cold War, stuff like this and all like that. But, um, I'm, I'm going to give it a nine as well, so I thoroughly enjoyed it. It's, you know, big thumbs up to it. Thanks, Lee. Um, and I will I will join Jeffrey in uh, the 9.5. I, um, I love the Avengers. I love Steed. I, lo I, I actually love the more campy Avengers. This is this is my opinion time on this. Yeah, I like the I like the that exactly Lee. Yes, that 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 you know uh karate and, and, and the gun in the garter. Red parte, yeah, and, and, and fencing and the bright colors, yes. It it was it was it was very awesome. So um I I really enjoyed this and let's let's do another one of these uh pretty soon you know let's just keep going on this i've got a few more of them and uh and i'm sure that we'll be able to somehow get our hands on the rest of them and thanks to big finish for once again doing awesome work and uh yeah so uh, with that i ask that you would all have a great week come back in a fortnight for another wonderful audio heads adventure because we we love to do these things we love to listen to this stuff and it's just delightful and um and like and subscribe definitely subscribe and share this video widely share it everywhere and uh do enjoy the rest of our videos and um and come join us on on our social media, we've got a Tumblr, a Twitter, we've got uh, a Facebook group that is lively and, and, and exciting. And, and uh, yeah, we, so we invite you to join us on all of those things. And then if you'd like to be part of the cast, all you got to do is be over 18 and have a camera and, you know, enjoy doing the, the same sort of things that we do. So come join us in our adventure. Thanks, fellas. Thank you so much for, for being here again. You guys are awesome, and we'll talk to you guys soon, okay? Okay, bye-bye.